Welcome to the Custom Vantage Web video on replacement SKUs or replacement products. So in a case where we have a product which has been discontinued, so for example, the printer 30 discontinued, I have another tab open in my admin, so I'm going to edit that printer 30. Now, if I'm going to replace this printer 30 because it's been discontinued, when I'm editing the printer 30, I'm going to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to come down to the advanced and I'm going to enter a SKU to which we should redirect someone. So out in the store, when someone is on this page, this is for the printer 30, where do we really want them to go? So in here, I have another SKU, which is a replacement which is the 4912, that is my SKU. So I'll enter that into the redirect SKU and hit save. Then I'm going to discontinue or make inactive this product. As long as this product is still active, if I refresh my page, I'm still going to see the product. But once that product is inactive, now, when we try to go to that product, it redirects us to the redirection SKU, which in this case is the new 4912. It's important to remember that in order to make the redirection happen, you must deactivate the original product. So this is only going to work if someone comes into their to your site and into their account and wants to reorder a previous item that has been discontinued, or if they have a link out in Google or Yahoo that goes to the old product, when someone clicks on that, it will take them to the new product. So it'll save you tons of trouble and you won't lose the sale because those external links to, in this case, the printer 30 will redirect automatically to the printer 4912. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you again for choosing Custom Vantage Web.